Okay, with our 204S sickle scaler, this is for posterior only interproximals, distal line angle and mesial line angle around. So what I'm going to do first is establish the correct working end. So I'm going to be looking at my terminal shank in relation to the long axis of the tube. I'm going to establish my fulcrum and I can see that this end looks like it's going to wrap around the tooth, so I know that's incorrect. The opposite end is parallel, so I know this is the correct working end. You're going to start with the most posterior tooth and the distal line angle. We've got to establish a 70 degree working angle. So when I put the blade straight on, I know that's 90 degrees. I'm going to lay down on my fulcrum just a little to establish a 70 degree angle. Uh, distal line angle around, maintaining super gingival or just one to two millimeters subgingival. I'm going to start at my mesial line angle, stand up on my fulcrum, so I'm leaning the blade towards the tooth about 20 degrees. I'm going to do mesial line angle in around interproximal. I'm going to do this on all the posterior teeth. Lean, distal line angle, in around, mesial line angle, in around. Notice my fulcrum location's not really changing much at this point. I'm just sliding my hand up on the handle. As I get to the premolars, I will advance my fulcrum. Distal line angle, end of interproximal. Roll, lean, mesial line angle into the interproximal. On the maxillary, it works the same way. You're going to have your patient close about halfway, retract with the mirror. For the video, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tissue back so you can see. You're going to establish an extra oral fulcrum, leaning against the, the chin, the side of the cheek. And same thing, I'm going to scoot back on the handle so I have enough reach to get to the most posterior tooth. I'm going to start distal line angle, around to interproximal, mesial line angle, roll into the interproximal. Now on your top of it, your scalar is going to get stuck. This will be much easier on a real patient. Remember to just use exploratory strokes unless you actually fill a deposit and then you're going to get apical to the deposit. At that point you'll tighten your grasp just a little, make sure your fulcrum is good and stable, apply some pressure on your fulcrum and apply the lateral pressure to the deposit.